I have been receiving numerous requests for help regarding various issues in ROS software development and researches. Now, ROS is a huge piece of software with a lot of hardware and software component interfaces. And even though I'd love to, but obviously it is not feasible for me or even I cannot record solution for everything that I know. And let's face it, no one knows everything, right? But that doesn't mean I can't try to help. I'm excited to announce a new series where I will be tackling some of the most common and intriguing issues posted on the platforms like Robot Stack Exchange, ROS Answers, and Stack Overflow tagged with ROS. The thing is, Robotics Stack Exchange is now the default for all ROS questions because of the migration from ROS Answers is announced. Although uh, you can see two hours ago a question has been posted, but still the ROS2 community is pushing towards robotic stack exchange. But we will be taking questions from all of these three platforms and decide some four to five questions for one episode and solve it and post it on GitHub. Also, I will be taking questions over my Discord server and I will be more active there. I would prefer this as it is convenient to use and it is much more organized as compared to the other. And one more important benefit is there are other peoples who might be helping you as well. And you can post images, you can describe your problem with text, images, code links and voice channels. This robotism discord server is what I have to provide you where I am active and some of the community members are also active. You can post your code screenshots as these people have done. I am more active on this as compared to the other three platforms I just showed you because it's easy to use and directly available on my system. So you can see people are asking questions. Sometimes I reply, sometimes people reply. There are three levels. Error 1, Error 2, Error 3, request for videos, books, announcement and all other things, you can get in touch with me on this as well. For questions to be answered, try to define all of your problems with these four steps. First one is to describe what you were doing and what you want, sort of summary for your project that you were doing. The second one is to include errors and its logs. Third one is provide link to package and if possible, the workspace whole as well. The fourth one is your expectations, what you were trying to do. And the fifth one is versions of software. Keep in mind that provide all of the logs and the codes as text, no images, so we can test on our systems as well. When you are working on big projects, there is one concept of pull request, which is the optimal way of providing an improvement into a code. For example, this is the move it repository I have and I want to apply some update or addition, a feature that I have built and put it here. So I will go into fork. Once it is forked, it becomes a simple repository like this. You are going to make some changes. For example, if I make some change here and I then perform commit changes, it commit changes and after that, we are going to go inside of pull request and apply it as a pull request that for example if we open up this pull request so it tells us that this guy s j a h r forked it and added this thing this was the name of the branch and it is saying that push it into move it to ross planning main branch so what basically it says is i have made changes in these number of files and remove this thing and kindly put it into your actual move it repository. That's how you add value into already existing code. A lot of repositories are open source, which will also help you in your careers and your profiles as well because of being a contributor to a very good and useful library. This series will be exploration and learning journey for all of us. We'll uncover, understand and solve problems together. This would be great for the community for starters and I'll try to keep minimum of five problem solvings in one video and I would love to hear feedback from all of you what approaches should I take and what the mistakes I am doing while solving the problem.